Hey, well, thanks for uh, tuning in. We're back with the Dr. Pulley. Yes, you've heard a lot about the Dr. Pulley for the go-karts and for the um, clutches that are out there. Um, it turns out they make the best clutches for the Carter 250 and 300 that's available. Um, they come in a nice little box with adjustable springs. Um, the technology behind it is incredible. So let's take a look at the installation guide for Dr. Pulley clutches on the Carter 250. Well, the first thing we have to do is remove the transmission cover on the side of the go-kart. Make sure you have a clean work area and your power tools. We're going to remove the nut off the um, rear clutch bell and make sure you can remove the front um, piece as well. So this is the clutch bell and we're going to go ahead and proceed to remove this piece. And then after that, we can start removing the rest of that transmission. So let's take the nut off. Get off there. Obviously, you're going to use a power tool. Um, we skip that part. Take the clutch bell off. You're going to see the clutch underneath. This is the stock SYM 250 and 300 uh, clutch. Uh, you can notice it's uh, it's not a racing clutch. It's a stock clutch. It's got some good friction power on there, but it's not as great as the Dr. Pulley one. So let's remove it, and let's start removing the other pieces on the um, on the clutch as well. Uh, we're going to install either an MRP or a Dr. Pulley clutch. Uh, here's the clutch for the Dr. Pulley um, that we have inside the box. And we're going to go ahead and put it in here. Uh, let, let's go into a little detail about the, uh, the clutch. Obviously, on a dyno, this clutch performs a lot better than the stock clutches. Part of the reason is that it has um, an extra push pin, and the pillow spring is set up for higher rpms now you can change these it brings several different colors of clutch springs inside the packaging but it already comes set for racing so the setting the factory setting is the best one um, but let's take a look at the analysis of the clutch itself the technology behind the hit clutch is really different than the traditional clutch it's got two types of springs first um, it's weight driven it rotates the clutch but um, not the same way other clutches go there's a push pin that activates it um, so there's two types of springs installed. One is the well-known clutch spring, which is used what everybody else uses, which um, determines at which rev the clutch weight is going to engage. Now you can change that, but there's also the pillow spring, which is a totally different type of spring that is also in here that allows you to uh, determine when the timing, when the push pin is going to receive the torque that you're sending to it. So it's different from other clutch uh, clutches that we sell. Um, as you can see, it activates differently. Um, and it comes with everything you need plus the little clutch springs. When you open the package, you're going to see the, um, the traditional clutch springs on there on the outside. And on the inside, you're going to see the push springs, which are, um, or we call them the pillow springs, which are different from the other clutches on the market. Uh, and it's also going to have an extra set of springs. So you're going to have the red ones, the yellow ones, the blue ones are all going to be in there. Um, so these grab the clutch weight and it activates differently. See these springs? These springs are the uh, higher rev springs that it brings. Um, and each one is labeled, so you should know which springs you're putting on there when um, adjusting your clutch for racing. So if you want uh, more takeoff or you want uh, more speed, you can change the, uh, the, the clutch springs or the pillow springs. Um, the clutch springs are the ones that most people are going to be uh, activating. Um, you, can't, you, you shouldn't miss with the pillow or the push pin. Um, or where it contacts, what you should do is just adjust the, the contact spring where the, main, where, the, where the clutch springs go. There are several benefits to using the uh, Dr. Pulley uh, clutch. What we found is that it has a higher throttle response and it engages quicker. Um, it's got more power for hill climbing than, let's say, the Pulley clutch. Um, so it's definitely worth it. It all has to do with these springs. Again, uh, having the dual springs in there um, allows it to have um, more grip force. They're going to extend and they're going to touch the grip. The, the clutch weight is going to extend and touch the, uh, the clutch bell. So it's going to engage. Um, and the, the pillow spring is going to push out and thrust into the compression, um, the compression pack that's in there. So it's, it's going to open and expand um, and you can feel this by pressing against the, the, the clutch. If you squeeze the clutch, you can see how this, this works. Uh, and just by changing these springs, you can, you can change the rate at which, um, at which it, it, it compresses. I mean, you can hold it the way it was being held a second ago and press on all the sides very, very tightly. 
and you can feel it pressing against uh, itself. Now this is going to cause less slippage, of course, inside the clutch belt. The great thing about this is you're not going to lose speed. It's not that you're going to gain speed. Is you're going to be grabbing more of the speed that your buggy is already producing. So you're going to have more power takeoff and more reacceleration. Uh, again, it's gripping better. So you're already just grabbing the speed, the power that your buggy is already producing. What happens with the regular clutch is that you're not holding on to that power and it's slipping uh, in takeoff or when you uh, hit the brakes and reaccelerate. So let's take off the front pulley fan, which is the variator fan here. Now, just remember the uh, the Dr. Pulley clutches are already, um, they already come set for optimum riding abilities. They're already set for a powerful takeoff and comfortable riding. So you don't want to mess too much with the uh, springs. If you're going to start messing with the springs, you want to start by testing the different pillow springs and different uh, clutch springs. So mix and match until you get it just right. Um, again, it's already set up. It's perfect the way it comes out of the box. Uh, some people like to mess with it. They want a higher rev or they want more RPMs. That's fine. It brings it. Um, but as you can see, it, it, it's already set up properly. So you don't want to have to mess with it too much. Now we're going to disengage the, uh, the clutch from um, the, the, the backing plate of the rear pulley. Use a power tool for this, of course. Remove it. And uh, you're going to have the main torque spring there. Um, see, we removed the stock clutch. And that only has one set of springs. That's the stock clutch on the SYM 250 and the 300 engine. And this is the, uh, on the left-hand side, you're going to see the Dr. Pulley. And you can compare that. You see that there's more padding. Uh, the Dr. Pulley has two sets of springs, the inside interior springs and the uh, exterior springs. You're going to put that back on. You're going to press it against the main torque spring. Press it down. Uh, make sure you get your... Um, your nut on there, and you're going to tighten that with your uh, power tools. Make sure it's nice and tight, and uh, of course you want to adjust it first. Make sure it doesn't fly off because the main torque spring has a lot of pressure, backing pressure there. Adjust it, and once it's ready and nice and tight, you're going to put it back on the transmission system of the Carter. So this is what it should look like after you've tightened everything and you put it back on. Um, again, we suggest keeping the stock uh, clutch springs and, and, and pillow springs because it's already set for optimum riding for the go-karts. Um, if you notice, you might have too much power at takeoff, um, but if you don't, it could be a setting and you might want to start messing with the, the front pulley, the, uh, the variator, uh, with the sliders and the rollers, but that's a whole different section. Um, just by changing this on your Carter 250, on your 300, you should see at least a 20% increase in power. Dr. Pulley is the best we've seen. Uh, people that use these at the races can ride 20 to 30 times without having to change their clutch. It's the same uh, clutch that we use for some of the ATVs. Okay, put that clutch bell back on. Make sure the belt, the Kevlar or transmission belt that you have on there is in its proper location. You're going to adjust that, uh, that nut on there. Make sure you use a power tool. Get it back on there, and let's turn this baby on once that's all um, adjusted so you can see how it performs. Well, that's it. We have the Dr. Pulley clutches in stock, so visit your local MRP dealer um, for more information. It's really easy to install. It's really easy to set up, and you can get those by visiting www.mrp-speed.com or calling us at 305-599-8993. Uh, we only sell through authorized dealers, so make sure to visit your local MRP shop today. mrp-speed.com